Hello friends, I am Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lekisor YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn some frequently asked JSP entry questions and answers for freshers and experienced developers. JSP is a server-side technology. It can be used to prepare presentation or viewport in the web application development. JSP pages can be deployed at any place in the web application directory structure. Now let us see one by one the questions and answers. The first question is, what is JSP? JSP stands for Java Server Page. It is a server-side technology and it is used to prepare presentation or viewport in the web application development. The main purpose of JSP is for developing web pages that support dynamic content which helps developers insert Java code in HTML pages. The next question is, what are the advantages of using JSP? JSP offers several advantages. They are, JSP is always compiled before it is processed by the server. The second advantage is, its performance is significantly better because JSP allows embedding dynamic elements in HTML pages itself. The third one, JSP or built-in top of the Java Servlets API. So like Servlets, JSP also has access to all the powerful enterprise Java APIs including JDBC, JNDI, EJB, etc. JSP pages can be used in combination with Servlets that, that handle the business logic, the model supported by Java Servlet template engines. What are the difference between JSP and Servlet? In JSP, we can easily separate the presentation logic with business logic, but in Servlet, both are combined. The second one is, one Servlet object is communicated with many number of objects, but JSP, it is not possible. The third one, internally, when JSP is executed by the server, it converted into Servlet. Therefore, we can say that JSP and servlets are work almost similar. The next question is, what are the web application scope? There are three web application scopes. They are request, session, application. The next question is, what is JSP declaration? A declaration declares one or more variables or methods that you can use in Java code later in JSP file. You must declare the variable or method before you use in the JSP file. The next question is, what are JSP expressions? A JSP expression element contains a scripting language expression that is evaluated, converted to a string and inserted where the expression appears in the JSP file. The expression element can contain any expression that is valid according to the Java language specification, but you cannot use a semicolon to end an expression. The next question is, give some, some of the JSP action names. There are some frequently used JSP actions. They are JSP colon include, JSP colon forward, JSP colon use bin, JSP colon body, JSP colon attribute. The next question is, what is page directive? The page directive is used to provide instructions to the container that pertain to the current JSP page. You may code page directives anywhere in our JSP page. And what are the difference between send redirect forward method? Let me define what is send redirect method. It sends a redirect response back to the client's browser. The browser will normally interpret this response by initiating a new request to the redirect URL given in the response. Then what is forward method? It does not involve the client's browser. It just takes the browser's current request and hands it off to another servlet or JSP to handle. The client does not know their request is being handled by a different servlet or JSP than they originally called. For example, if you want to hide 
the fact that you are handling the browser request with multiple servlets or JSP and all of the servlets or JSP are in the same web application. Then use forward or include method. If you want the browser to initiate a new request to a different servlet or JSP, then you want to forward to this the same application, same web application, then use send redirect method. The next question is, what are the various attributes of page directive? So here are the some page, page attributes. They are language, extends, import, session, is thread safe, error page, content type, auto flash. The next question is, what is include directive? The include directive is used to include a file during the translation phase. This directive tells the container to merge the content of other external files with the current JSP during the translation phase. The next question is, what implicit objects are supported by JSP? So here are the some of the implicit objects are supported by JSP. They are request, response, out, session, application, exception. The next question is, what are the difference between JSP writer and a print writer? The JSP writer object contains most of the same method as the JSP print writer class. However, JSP writer has some additional methods designed to deal with buffering. Unlike the print writer object, JSP writer throws IOE exceptions. The next question is, what is session object? The session object is an instance of HTTP session and is used to track client session between client requests. Then what are the difference between get and post method in HTTP protocol? The get method sends the encoded user information appended to the page request. The page and the encoded information are separated by the question mark character. The post method packages the information in exactly the same way as get methods, but instead of sending it as text string after question mark in the URL, it sends it as a separate message. This message comes to backend program in the form of standard input, which you can parse and use for your processing. The next question is how to read data from database using JSP. So there are some methods we are using in JSP to read data from database in JSP. They are by using get parameter method or get parameter values or get parameter name or get input stream. The next question is define filters. JSP filters are Java classes that can be used in JSP programming for the following purpose. To manipulate responses from server before they are sent back to the client. The second point is to intercept requests from a client before they access a resource at backend. The next question is what are cookies? Cookies are text files stored on the client computer and they are kept for various information tracking purpose. The next question is how to set cookies in the JSP page? There are three steps to set cookies in the JSP. The first one is creating a cookie object. Second one is setting the maximum is. Third one sending the cookie into the HTTP response header. The last question is what is an auto refresh feature in JSP. Consider a web page which is displaying a live game score or stock market status or currency exchange rotation. For all such types of pages, you would need to refresh your web page regularly using refresh or reload button with your browser. Here JSP makes this job easy by providing you a mechanism where you can make a web page in such a way that it would refresh automatically after a given interval.
I would give it some example in video description. You can check it in the video description. The example for how to auto refresh your web page by using JSP. So that's all about some of the frequently asked for JSP interview questions for fresh years. So if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share to your friends. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get more latest, latest videos if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So thank you for visit. Have a nice day.